One of the most underrated formations in Madden 24 is tight offset tight end. While this formation is not as good as it has been in previous years, it is still a good formation. I believe it deserves some attention. I'm going to show you a really nice little cover three beater that's kind of a little bit maybe maybe different than you might have thought and how it works out of compression this year. So we're going to be in the play, uh, di not drive out, I apologize, Y out. And this is in the Jets playbook. If you want to get my entire Jets offensive ebook, link is going to be down in the description. And again, we're going to be going over the play Y out in this video. So this is specific to cover three, but there are some advantages and other things that we can do if we're not if, if they're not running cover three. OK, so one of the things that we can do with this with this little package here, this formation, this play is we can put kind of a essentially just don't have a deep route on the left. So we're just going to run a route combo that looks like this. So we're using the flats. And the purpose of the flat routes are to pull different zones. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up a lot of space for this little five yard in route or drag route to be open. You could also do the play like this if you wanted to, to kind of maybe create a little bit more space. But what you're going to see here is this drag is really your check down read. Okay. And I'll get to that in a minute. But if you wait on this post and you use your free form, you have a really good chance to hit this over the top. And right there, I need to wait on it just a little bit more than I did. And we'll show uh, kind of what that would look like. So... Let me just go ahead and get the flats out there. And, and if you want to slant, you certainly can. Okay, you can slant the guy as well. I just find slants to be probably the most inconsistent route in the game. But you want to freeform this more to the left than I did in the, in the first rep. So as you see there, I get a little bit more of a left bend on the ball. And I'm able to throw that. My freeform settings are far, or I'm sorry, near 20 out of 20 placement and accuracy. And I'll talk about some other things that we can do with this play. But again, I just want to show the concept first, which is with no vertical route here on the left, we're able to do a lot. So we could do stuff like this, like a little ghost route over here if we wanted to, um, a little running back Texas route to kind of makeshift a slant route. But as you can see, um, it really puts us in a position to hit this deep post over the top. Now, there's other methods, of course. If you want to streak this, this guy on the left side and basically just quick hike your cover three bomb, you can, a lot of times this will work as well. As you see, this is also very open over the top, but I do think that this is one of the more underrated sets in the game because not a lot of people really go to this and you can definitely catch somebody off guard if they're running a lot of cover three. We know that really the number one defense in the game this year is some type of cover three coverage. That being said, another thing that we could do if we wanted to is we can use this out route as essentially and create basically a high low. So we're gonna use a little little hitch here to the right. We're gonna drag that slot receiver. And then this oftentimes people won't even think that you're using this. They might go user the corner instead of even paying attention to your deep streak. So you see here something like this. And again, it pulls that safety just for a second and we're able to hit this over the top. So all you need for a cover three beater this year, and it's been one of the first times this has really happened, is just don't run a vertical route on the side you're trying to bomb, and oftentimes it's gonna work out well for you. So this is a really popular route combo uh, to me because all we would need to do to make this a really you know super bomb uh, to the right is just put the circle receiver on a streak route. Now I wanna show you one other advantage to running this route combination after we throw this cover three beater over the top. Another advantage to running this little route combination that we're showing you today is if they were to be in a situation where they were doing different types of roll coverages, one of the coverages that you might actually encounter is like a double Mabel coverage where they're backing off these outside defenders. It's very popular for tight this year. And we have the user in the middle and we have this post coming over the middle of the field as well. The beauty of this is this corner route to the right is deep enough, especially on this side of the field, that you can do a lot. So you run your route combination like this. If you want to put your running back on a wheel route, that's an underrated, very underrated element. You could even do, if you were to do this right here, this is also a really good route combo because then you could throw your corner. Um, but I just want to show first and foremost, like this version of it. And what you'll see here is that deep cloud flat defender. He's not going to get deep enough to guard this. And you can throw that right on the sideline for a possession catch and oftentimes be able to beat a standard double Mabel. Now let's say, you know, maybe they're running a defense like this. This is also going to kind of hedge your bet in terms of your cover three potential if you put your running back on a wheel. By putting your running back on a wheel here, you have a quick flat read to the right. But then also if you wait on this long enough, 
this tight end is going to get open right on the corner and those catch animations are very consistent this year to be able to catch those even against KOs. So there's a lot that you can do from this formation. A lot of people are sleeping on this uh, on this formation specifically. So I just wanted to kind of you know showcase it a little bit for you today and just show why there's a lot more that you can do with tight than you might have thought. And uh, add this to your arsenal if you run Jets. If you're in the Jets playbook and you want to get my ebook on it, everything's in the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to all the ebooks and updates, everything uh, to get better at Madden. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description and click the link down below.